Hey everybody, welcome back. This is going to be a short video. I just wanted to show you guys that you can get an app store on your PowerPC Macintosh uh, running Tiger or Leopard. And uh, this was brought to my attention by a subscriber named Bram, and I really appreciate the tip. Thanks for the heads up. I want to show all of you this right now, so let's get this Mac booted up. It's actually really, really, really easy to get set up. Uh, it's just a matter of going to a website and downloading the program and setting it up. Yeah, it's really, really simple. So make sure if you're going to do this that you download it to a USB stick on another Mac if you don't have internet access on your power PC or, you know, make sure that you have internet access on your power PC. I've got a special dongle that I'm using because the airport card on this Mac is horrible for some reason. But anyway, uh, let me make sure I've got my internet set up. Yes, I do. So I'm going to close out of this. I'm not using the airport card, so you can see that's turned off up there. I'm actually using a wireless utility uh, that's a third-party utility. So let me open up Safari, and I'll show you this website where you can go and get this awesome program that gives you an app store. Uh, you'll want to Google PPC App Store, all one word. And the first thing that pulls up, it's a WordPress site. Just click on that. And uh, sorry about the focus on the camera. It was fine. And then I went back to review the video and it wasn't fine. But that's okay. Um, I'm explaining everything step by step, so it's not going to be a big deal. Anyway, this is the website of the program. You'll just scroll down to the uh, download link and click it. And I've already got it set up, so... Uh, no need to do all that over again, but anyway, it'll download to your desktop and you just click on it and follow the instructions and that's it. You don't have to log on, you don't have to create an account, you just get a special app store that was created by someone who wanted people who were using PowerPC Max to be able to have access to apps. And uh, people can get set up on here, it's my understanding, and uh, all the apps are supposed to be legit. And they're all supposed to work on Tiger and I think Leopard. But anyway, here's the uh, App Store. There were all the utilities. There's a bunch of productivity apps. Uh, you can download OpenOffice and uh, LibreOffice. And you can download iLife 2003 to 2008. Here's some internet tools. I think there are a couple of browsers in there and some FTP browsers, that sort of thing. There's audio stuff. You've got Audacity. Uh, Spotify, which I don't know if that'll work anymore, but it's there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and download that for later. Maybe I'll do a thing some other time about how to get older Macintoshes set up to record audio. And we've got some video apps. I didn't go through a lot of this yet. I just got this set up. And there you can download Blender and a few other things. Uh, there's the Tiger Sierra theme. Uh, you'll notice my Mac kind of had a Sierra theme when, when it booted up. I actually installed that, and uh, now it looks like Sierra, which is kind of cool. That was kind of weird to install, but it does provide you with instructions. And that's it. That's the App Store right now. There's not a whole lot on it yet, and I don't believe it's been updated in a couple of years, but it still works great. There are still apps available. Uh, there are a couple of games, there are utilities, there's productivity stuff. So, you know, it's a nice way to have an app store on your PowerPC Mac. And hopefully they'll get some more stuff added to it soon. And that would be really awesome. So let me go ahead and close out of this. And really quick, I would like to show you uh, how that Sierra theme looks when you check the uh, About This Mac. Anyway, here we go. Let's click it. And you see, it kind of makes it a little Sierra-esque. And, uh, you know, you can go into your system report and stuff. It's not perfect, but, you know, it's a pretty cool little thing. I actually went and had to download the desktop uh, background wallpaper off of Google. But, you know, it sets everything else up to kind of look like Sierra. And I like the way Sierra looks, so that's fun. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Like I said, this is going to be a really short video. Uh... Let me give a shout out to Bram. Thank you again for bringing that to my attention. You know, I've been looking through it. I'm going to look through it some more. And uh, I hope everybody has fun with this. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Retro Tech Toys.